的想你，和你在一起后的每天，我的话你都还没听见，就突然已经走远。What's up, everybody? Xavier Ganio in the building. How you all doing? All right, now today we have probably the most unexpected crossover ever: the Joker meets Spider-Man. To be honest, whenever I consider a fight between the Joker and Spider-Man, I honestly think that it can be both a good and bad thing for the Joker because, on one hand, Spider-Man has so many loved ones that Joker can easily torture, destroy, kill to really cause him some emotional damage. Well, more emotional damage than what he already goes through because it's already, and you guys already know Spider-Man. He is a very, very depressing character. To be honest, sometimes I wonder how the guy hasn't, you know, offed himself yet. But on the other hand, I think that if he ever pissed Spider-Man off enough and he decided not to hold back, you already know he basically take Joker's head off with a punch. But it's a Joker we're talking about. He doesn't really fear death, so I, I guess that wouldn't be too bad for him. Whatever, whatever. We're, we're thinking too much. The YouTube channel that made this video is called Phantom Savage. I'll be linking down the original video in the description below in case anybody wants to watch it on their own time. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Boy. Ooh, don't be harsh on me. Have some sympathy for your fellow freak. Okay, like this doesn't have anything to do with the plot, but the voice acting is great. Whoever's playing Joker is doing a good Troy Baker impression. It's such a long way from Gotham. I'm feeling a little homesick. In all honesty, though, I'm probably going to tear this entire. F City down, piece by piece. But I want to toy with our local hero a bit first, so I am going to find everyone you care about and kill them slowly, just for the pleasure of it. Starting with your precious child. Uh, <laughs> yeah, about that. Kind of sold my child to the devil. You did what? Wait, he did. Was that like a comic plot? I've never heard about this until now. And honestly, it's so weird, in my opinion, that a world full of mutants and superheroes actually has heaven and hell and God and Satan in it. it it's so weird to think about. But Peter, I hope you have a good explanation for this because that is just wrong on so many levels. <laughs> Why? I mean, look at you. You're like a grown man. I assumed you already had a family. Batman is a huge one, and he's only pushing forty. It's a long story. I, I basically had to sell my marriage to the devil, and it kind of ended up killing our unborn child.、Uh, it was a long time ago. When did this even happen? How old is he right now? I have so many questions about this. Why do you keep bringing up the devil? How does that even work? I mean, it's just really awkward. No. Yeah, I, I understand. It's just kind of important for an explanation I'm trying to give. Do you、uh, at least have a girlfriend? I used to. Not really dating anyone right now. Funny you say that. One of my ex-girlfriends was actually killed on this very bridge. <laughs> What a coincidence! Is he talking about Gwen Stacy, or did he have another girlfriend that died? If so, it's impressive that this man keeps continuing to love. And even more impressive that women keep getting with him. Like, if I were dating a girl, then I found out that all of her boyfriends keep either leaving her or dying. I'm gonna go ahead and steer clear of that. I don't care if you're Spider Woman or not. Like at that point, I'm not even gonna just smash with you because I feel like somehow that's gonna put a target on my back too. Oh my God, man! I, I don't even know what to say at this point. It's okay. All your friends hate you. This city hates you. Everyone around you keeps dying, and on top of all that, you're all so broke. Yeah. I mean, I used to think it only takes one bad day to go insane, but now, looking at you, I am seriously reconsidering my life principles. 
I mean, the fact that you went all homicidal maniac on everybody over one bad day in general should have been your first indicator that maybe you should reconsider this. Like, I'm just saying, you didn't even give life a chance after the chemical bath. You just immediately got up and bolted straight to the guns and joker gas and didn't even, like, try to see any professionals over this. But honestly, I think Spider-Man continuing to be who he is is more realistic because, let's be honest, guys, I know that a lot of shows and movies love using this whole trope of, oh, bad past, bad life, oh, I'm going to be evil now. But in real life, that's not really how it works. In the real world, a lot of people have terrible lives since the time they were born from the time they were old and still continue to be decent people. And to be honest, it's just kind of a tired trope, at least in my opinion. Also, look at Batman just sitting over there like, what is going on? Like, how are you getting Joker to be calm and reasonable? I haven't even managed to do that yet. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you rock with my content, hit your boy with a subscribe. If you don't feel like doing that, hit your boy with a like because it really helps me out with the algorithm. And also remember to share my videos around because it gets my name out there more. If you want to see what I'm doing in my personal life outside of YouTube, go hit up my Twitter or my Instagram. Both are linked in the description below. I'll see you guys in my next one. Goodbye.